Welcome to this wonderful platform, Linda's TV Show. This is the home of news. If it is your first time of coming across this YouTube channel for the first time and you like what you see, please subscribe, put on your notification bell so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, we'll present to you news across the globe, especially what is happening in Nigeria. Before we present the news, we analyze it and we'll sit down there to watch it together with you. Then later we'll go to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, you are free to criticize, you are free to comment, you are free to leave your own opinion because you are entitled to your opinion. But let us do it constructively. And uh, we are very impressed and happy with the election of Nigeria. They went back to the farm. And we made sure our neighbor, especially Nigeria, understand that because there are Nigerians that order food in Niger for Nigerian market. The Nigerian government cooperated with us. So really, uh, we defended on ourselves and Nigerians do not regret it. Investigation panels based almost on the geopolitical zone for people that held positions, governors, ministers, commissioners, heads of status, because then people don't get that position until they declare their assets. Then they are faced with the bank statements and their assets. If they cannot explain the balance is taken away from them. But what happened? Eventually, I myself was arrested, detained, and they were given back what they have looted. So that's why I wear Agwada and join and see what this partisan process is all about. Uh, and uh, I will not change, but uh, the system. How is reported dead? Does that give an opportunity for us to zero in? and consolidate and secure the Northeast. The problem of the Northeast was very difficult. The, the governor, the present governor, uh, is, um, is working very hard. He's taking a lot of risk. And uh, I asked him, this Boko Haram, is it our people, just me, is it Nigerians, all people coming out? He said, they are Nigerians, most of them. They are Nigerians. As I said, the only way we got them around was that, uh, that uh, you can't kill innocent people and said God is great. That worked very well, but uh, I think uh, we have a problem of... Uh, unemployment, we have a problem of a lot of abuse, uh, looking basically for what to eat, not even to talk of accommodation or dress. Uh, the level of poverty is almost unimaginable. So this is a problem. Um, but um, those who are really keeping uh, in touch with what we are doing. They know the difference between the time we came in and now. And the people of North East and South South, I think, are the best uh, judges for the performance of this administration because they know what they are in and they know the condition now. It was uh, Kashina last year, I mean, at the height of this economy, of this bad increase, like, this equality has moved from the northeast to the northwest. You can no longer go to farm. Where do you respond to the sort of this challenge, especially banditry in the northwest? I allow them to go around, you know, and see the position on the ground. They made changes in their offices and commands and the men to be rebuilt. As you observe, people to go back to the land so that we wouldn't have a uh, uh, food problem. And I think that is being done. 
we are given a less uh, publicity because we don't we don't want to uh, uh, make them aware that uh, we are taking them head on. But I think those who are in the field know they have, they have been suffering a lot of casualties, and we stopped, uh, for example, mining in in Zamfara State. We expelled uh, the foreigners. And uh, we are talking to the government, uh, although he is uh, he's not in the federal government's party, uh, but we want to secure uh, Zampara, Sokoto, and so on. And we mentioned Katana and so on. But the important thing is the question of uh, local security apparatus. We have police in every town. And I've been talking to the police, trying to push them as hard as I can. They don't wear uniform and sling their rifle just to intimidate people, but to make sure, if necessary, they use it uh, to bring security. Um, in the northeast, you know what was happening. In the south house, you know, I too was almost overwhelmed by what is happening in the northwest. But we are treating them uh, as criminals now. They are experiencing a lot of casualties. They will not say it because they don't want to demoralize their recruitment uh, uh, constituencies. But they are suffering a lot of casualties. We know that. Mr. President, still on the issue of security. Yes. Each zone you would have witnessed has sort of taken matters into their own hands with different kind of security apparatus, like the civilian JTF, Amoteco, and what have you. Has the time come to now formalize state police in Nigeria? Um, I have seen, or I have been reading it in the newspapers. Um, those of us who are old enough to know the old uh, NA police and so on, uh, that time, the traditional institutions, leaders, were very effective. In each community, you know, I will give you one example of recent. Two governors from the southwest came to tell me that uh, the cattle rearers in some of the forests there have killed farmers while their cattle were eating on their crops. So I told them, you campaigned to be a elected, and you are elected. You said, yes. I said, go back and sort out yourself. Because there has been a system. Mr. President, you have 17 uh, governors. And those who come, whether they are cattle rearers or influential traders, they are part of it. They meet either they will, uh, they will have intelligence. They will know what is happening in their constituencies. They just can't go around and win election and then sit tight and think somebody will do their job for them. I just send them back. Mr. President, you have 17 uh, governors in the southern part of the country recently called for restructuring. They also uh, announced a ban on open grazing in the southern states. But despite that, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Mulami, uh, um, What I did was um, ask them to go and dig the Gazette of First Republic when people were obeying laws. There's cattle roots and grazing area. Cattle roots were... You allow your cattle to stray into any farmer's farm, you are arrested. The farmer is invited to submit his claims. The al or the judge will say, oh, I pay. If you can't, the kettle is sold. And if there is any balance, you are given. And people are behaving themselves. And in the grazing areas, they built earth dumps, put uh, windmills, 
in some places, even veterinary departments, there is no, if they have any problem from the locality, is no. But I'm telling you, this rushing to the center, you know, people just, oh, oh, I think. So I asked for the gazettes, you know, to make sure that you, those who encroached on these cattle routes and grazing areas will be dispossessed, you know, and, uh, and try to bring some order back in, into the cattle areas. The problem is trying to understand the culture of the um, cattle rearers. Um, there is a cultural distinction between the chiefs and the Fulanis. So the governor of uh, Benway said, I'm not uh, disciplining the cattle rearers because I'm one of them. I cannot refuse to say I'm not one of them, but, but he's been very unfair to me. And I told him that the Nigerian cattle rearer was not carrying anything more than a stick. Sometimes with a machet to cut uh, some trees and, and give it to them anymore. But those sophisticated ones, they are good with AK-47. So from... Um, all the Sahel areas, people rush to Nigeria You know, and uh, Fulani from Mauritania or from Central Africa look the same. So they think they, they are Nigerian ones. And uh, I assure you that we are trying to resuscitate these cattle routes, grazing areas, and make them accountable. And then this cancelling of taxes. It's ordinary people like it, but the problem of accountability, you know, when taxes are being paid, people are, who are behaving themselves. But now without taxation, people are doing what they like. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, that brings us to the question of power devolution. All these taxation things. position now on devolution of powers. Devolution of power, you have to define it. Yes. It's a legislative list. Take some of the things to residual and keep a few people. Virtually, local governments are virtually killed. You know it. Yes, sir. The three tiers of government, federal, state, and local government, if, you are being followed, if they are being followed properly, we wouldn't have all these social problems. But the problem is the local government have been virtually killed. And that is not good for this country. It's not good for this country. Because those who became the local government chairman have been compromised. If your local government is, say, entitled or is supposed to receive 300 million, a letter will be prepared for you to sign that you have received 300 million and you are given only 100 million. So how can we reduce the powers of governors and give more powers to local governments by writing a new constitution? And reduce the powers of the president too. While we're at it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the president has a lot of power. Okay. Um. <laughs> I I think um. This question of accountability is very important. Um, the schooling, especially education, suffered so is suffering so much. If, uh, for example, as as they treat their own children, if you do well, you are brought before the classroom and praised. If you misbehave, they remove your thing and plug you there in front of the class. So you just. Have Have to behave yourself, but now one of the chaps from Ogun State, first Abakar, that their priorities is to make sure they have brought normalcy, people.
to accept the responsibility of their offices and far for. They are working very hard on that. We cannot give it enough publicity because we don't want to give a real warning to the real criminals. The ones on North East, you know, the ones in South South, you know, the problem is in North. We are going, as I said, we are going to treat them in the language they will understand. We have given the police and the military power to be ruthless. Hey, wonderful people. Thank you so much for watching this video together with me. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. Like I said before, if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are welcome. Now that we have finished watching this video together, you saw me sitting there watching it together with you. I appreciate you. Let's go to the comment section to talk about it. If it is your first time, subscribe, put on your notification bell. That notification bell is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I will meet you guys again in my next video. I appreciate your massive support. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.